Lord, don't let me fail you. I want to be your bride when my way grows dark. Walk right by my side when my eyes grow dim. Lord, let me see something in my life thou hast done for me. Lord, don't let me fail you. I want to be your bride when my ways grow dark. Walk right by my side when my eyes grow dim. Lord, let me see something in my life Thou hast done for me. Lord, don't let me fail you. I want to be your bride when my way grows dark. Walk right by my side when my eyes grow dim. Lord, let me see something in my life Thou hast done for me. Lord, don't let me fail you. I want to be your bride when my way grows dark. Walk right by my side when my eyes grow dim. Lord, let me see something in my life Thou hast done for me. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you, Sister Mamie. God bless you, Sister Angie. Praise the Lord, Sister Duchess. God bless you, Sister Latasha. God bless you, Sister Cora. God bless you, Bishop and Mother Joseph. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Sister Ford. God bless you, Sister Cleckley. Praise the Lord, Sister Nixon. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Terry. God bless you, Sister Williams. God bless you, Sister Walker. God bless you, Lady Austin. Good morning. God bless you, Sister Wiggins. God bless you, Lydia. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Bobbin. God bless you, Sister Durham. Praise the Lord, Sister Gray. God bless you, Sister Burnett. Praise the Lord, Sister Robert, Sister Nash. God bless you, Sister Carly. Praise the Lord, Deacon Briggs. God bless you, Candace. Good morning. Good morning, Dad. God bless you, Sister Whitney. God bless you, Brother Lorenzo, Pastor Morton. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Terry. God bless you, Thomasina. God bless you, Sister Silver. Sister Henley, God bless you. Pray you're feeling better. God bless you, Sister Cheek. Praise the Lord. Praying for you. God bless you, Catherine. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Gordon. God bless you, Sister Corden. God bless you, Sister Yarborough. Praise the Lord, Sister Robinson. Good morning, Evangelist Pettiford. God bless you, Sister Forehand. God bless you, Sister Hamilton. Praise the Lord, Angela. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Roberts. God bless you, Sister Hedrick. Thank God for you. God bless you, Mother Holman. Praise the Lord, Mother Howard. Praise the Lord, Mother Foster. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Alice. God bless you, Deacon and Sister Morris. Praise the Lord to you. God bless you, Lady Fears. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Pastor and Lady Aldi. God bless you, Elder Tyson. Good morning, sir. God bless you, Deacon Hood. God bless you, Valencia. Praise the Lord to each of you. God bless you. It's good to see you. Praise the Lord, Tammy. Praise the Lord, Deborah. God bless you, Sister Francis. God bless you, Kathy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And God bless you. And good morning, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. It is indeed a pleasure, an honor, and a privilege to once again be able to share with you a biblical meditation and prayer. More things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. Every day we see God working miracles. We see God helping people. We see God strengthening the saints and all of that through a function through the function of prayer. Prayer making a difference in the lives of people, prayer bringing peace, prayer opening doors. Ha Prayer just do I I feel the God's going to bless somebody today. Oh my God, something great's going to happen in your life through prayer. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or even think. And that comes through that function 
of prayer. So I just came to encourage somebody. I'm reading about successful surgeries. I'm reading about people who are coming through some very difficult challenges and the Lord is making things happen. Hallelujah. And that's coming through the function of prayer. No gimmicks, no games. Hallelujah. Just simply seeking the face of God and watching God work on our behalf and doing it in faith. Hallelujah. Doing it in faith and watching God bring manifestation, hallelujah, and answers to prayers through faith. I want to encourage you, if you have a prayer request, somebody that you want the Lord to bless, to please place that name in the chat, place that prayer request in the chat so that we can carry those prayer requests before the Lord. We add those to the prayer book. We call those names out to the Lord and the Lord continues to heal and deliver and to set free. God is going to save people's families, your loved ones, your children, your grandchildren, people that you care about. I believe that prayer is what brings them in. Hallelujah. I believe that prayer is what brings them in. And we're going to pray for that. Yokes to be broken, chains to drop off. People who have been bound by things perhaps for years, but there is something about taking it to God in prayer that the Lord has a way of working on our behalf. So we want to join with you in prayer. If your prayer request is of a private nature, please send it to either the Reginald Davis inbox or to the Refuge Temple inbox, and we will add those names to the prayer list in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to go back to Ephesians chapter 4 this morning, so I want you to please join me there. Ephesians chapter number 4. And we're going to begin reading again at verse 1. I want to continue um, the thought that we started on yesterday. So Ephesians chapter 4 and verse number 1. I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. With all lowliness and meekness with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and father of all who is above all and through all and in you all. I want to talk about God's favorite number today. God's favorite number. And this is a continuation from yesterday. Paul um, uses some very um, compelling language in this text. And I want to just underscore some of the language he uses. He uses the word beseech. And to beseech means to beg. He is literally pleading with the um Ephesian church, he's pleading with the Ephesian, the church at Ephesus, to do a couple of things. And the first um, plea is that they walk worthy of their calling. And, and this is important because you can have a calling and not live up to the calling. You know, we, we, we sometimes get very distressed, and we should, when people who are in ministry, people who are in leadership in ministry, people who hold titles in ministry fail, fall. But it's possible. And it's possible because in some cases we don't live up or walk worthy of our vocation. The calling is lofty. The assignment is weighty. The, the tasks are challenging. And it becomes incumbent upon each believer to live up to the call of God on your life. If you and, and, and this is and I want to be very clear, this is not to say that preachers or leaders or psalmists or singers have a different standard. There's one standard of holiness. There's one standard of godliness. And all of us should be living to that standard so that wherever God assigns us, we're ready. You know, Paul told Timothy that we ought to purge ourselves of these things, the things of the flesh that we would be a vessel unto honor, meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. That means no matter what the work is, I want to live in such a way that my life is not an issue. My conduct is not an issue. My behavior is not an issue. But I am living worthy of what God has called me to do. 
And that's the assignment for every believer, not just preachers, not just apostles, not just evangelists, but every believer should be living worthy of the call of God that is on their life. But attitude matters. Attitude matters. It should be an attitude of humility. It should be an attitude of meekness. It should be an attitude of long suffering because you're dealing with people. <coughs> Excuse me. And people <coughs> are fallible. And people are, are, are mistake driven and people sometimes don't always do what they're supposed to do. And so if you want to deal with people and this is all people, this is dealing with you. This is dealing with your family. This is dealing with the church. This is dealing with work. You have to approach it from a mentality of long suffering and a mentality of forbearance, giving people the room to grow, giving people the room to achieve, giving people the room to excel spiritually. And then look at this other word language, endeavoring. It's work to walk in unity. It's work to walk in oneness. It's work to walk in a spirit of one accord. And so it's an endeavor. It doesn't just happen by accident. You just don't instantly become unified. You have to deliberately and intentionally make choices that will enhance unity. You have to deliberately make choices that will lift up people. You have to deliberately choose to exhibit long suffering. You have to deliberately choose to walk in peace. So it's endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. And then Paul gives us the reasons. There is one body. I'm going to say it again. There is one body, regardless of the name of your church, regardless of the denomination of your church. There's only one body. Read Matthew chapter 16, where Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church. Singular, not churches, not 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 multiplicity of churches, but one church. We are as believers, one body. We get so stuck in our labels that our labels alone create division. And I'm going to say this and you can agree or disagree with me, but so many of these different religious schools of thought is really the enemy's desire to divide us. When there's one word, there's one Bible. Now, I understand people read it differently and they see this and they see that and they see the other. And that's sometimes the generation of division. But even beyond the, 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 the petty differences, and I'm going to call them petty because some of the differences that we divide ourselves over are petty differences. They are not differences that have eternality attached to them. They are not heaven and hell issues. They are simply my view of this particular verse and my view of this particular chapter. And because we don't see it the same way we can't fellowship we can't sing together we can't pray together because one verse divides us that is the trick of the enemy why not go to God and say Lord what is the right answer why not go to God and say Lord what is your will what is your word what are you really trying to say to us as opposed to getting into our separate camps and dividing ourselves when it's unnecessary and all it does is gender strife and all it does is keep people from being delivered and all it does is keep people from being saved because while we're fussing and dividing ourselves, people are going to hell every single day. And some of them right in our churches going to hell because we are so interested in what separates us rather than what unites us. He says there is one body. And there is one spirit. If you have the Holy Spirit and I have the Holy Spirit, guess what? We have the same spirit. Your Holy Spirit is not better than mine. Your Holy Spirit is not more anointed than mine. Your Holy Spirit is not somehow greater than mine. If it's the Holy Ghost, and some people have a ghost, but it's not holy. But if it's the Holy Ghost, it's the same spirit. There is one body. There is one spirit. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Everybody has one hope, and that's to get to heaven. Oh, God, everybody, I hope that's your hope. I, I sincerely pray that your hope is not just to be popular or to be great or to be lifted up or to be celebrated. I sincerely pray that your hope is the hope of going to glory because that's the hope of your calling. God is calling us to his place. In my father's house are many mansions. 
And if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And we're all trying to get to the same place. But we have to be united in that effort. We have to be united. It's my job to help me get to glory. And it's my job to help you get to glory. Oh, hallelujah. One hope of your calling. One Lord. One Lord. One faith. One baptism. That means there's one faith system. There's one belief system that will cause us to grow and to be what God wants us to be. One baptism that transforms and changes our lives. Oh, hallelujah. And he lays it down. One God. Oh, Shatanaye. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. And if you, if you got a God that you can't share, that's not the right God. If you've got a God that does not love everybody, that's not the right God. If you've got a God that isolates you from other people, that's not the right God. There's one God and there's one father. Yes, my friend, we have the same daddy. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, my friend, we have the same father. And if he birthed you into existence, he's birthed me into existence. And we have just one. I told you the subject today is God's favorite number. And I sincerely believe, I don't have any Bible to prove it, so please don't nail me theologically, but I sincerely believe that God's favorite number is one. God's favorite number is one. One God, one Father who is what? Above all. He's everybody's Father. Oh, hallelujah, who is through all. He's working through us and who is in you all. He wants intimate fellowship with us. There's one, there's one. This notion of one, go back to it. One body. Oh, Shataye. Oh, God, your body has many members. There are 206 bones in the human body, but it's the one body. Hallelujah. 206 bones. Forget the many tissues and organs and forget the millions and billions of cells that are in your body. But you're looking at you're looking at just one body this morning on your screen. That's Reginald Davis. you not. And, and nobody says, well, I see Reginald Davis's eyebrows, his eyelashes. I see his mustache. I see his ears. You just say, no, I see Reginald Davis. And when the world looks at the church, they should only see one body. And that's the body of Jesus Christ. You know what the problem is? The problem is you've got too many people that want to be standouts. Mm, God help me. You got too many people that want to be standouts and they deliberately create division so that they can stand out apart from everybody else. Not realizing your strength comes from you being connected with that one body. Oh God, by yourself, you're limited. By myself, I'm limited. When I stand alone, I stand in a limited place. But when I stand in the body of Jesus Christ, I stand united with every other believer that names the name of Christ. I stand united. The enemy knows this. That's why he tries so hard to create division. That's why he tries so hard to create confusion. That's why he wants to divide your family. That's why he wants to divide your children. That's why he wants to divide your congregation or your reformation or, oh God, your association. He wants division there because where there's division, there are cracks in which he can work. So if I can create a crack, the devil surmises, then guess what? I can create a problem. But when the church closes ranks, that's a military term, when you close ranks, there's no division among us. Oh, hallelujah. The Roman soldiers had this thing called the turtle that they literally created a human tank because they had these all these shields and they would bring the shields together and when they brought the shields together the other army could not penetrate the shield they even had those who would hold the shield over their heads so it became literally a human walking tank but to do that they had to close ranks they couldn't have one soldier over in the right flank and one soldier in the left flank and a couple of soldiers in the bushes Everybody had to come together to close ranks. And if we are going to do real damage to the kingdom of darkness, the church has to close ranks. We've got to stop arguing about things that have no consequence. We've got to stop fussing about the things that don't save anybody. We've got to stop bickering about the things that don't bless the body and come together on what we know. There is one Lord. There is one faith. There is one baptism. 
baptism. There is one body. There is one spirit. There is one God, one Father. There is one. Jesus prayed this prayer in Gethsemane. He said that ye, that we, the church, may be one. That they may be one, rather, as we are one. The Lord wanted the church to be as inseparable as Jesus was from the Father. Jesus declared, I and my Father are one. And the same way you can't separate God from Jesus Christ, the Lord wants us to be that inseparable. I I'm really not done. I'm going to stop because it's time to pray. I may have to finish this tomorrow. But God's favorite number, God's favorite number is one. Let's pray. Lord, we just have to say thank you. Thank you for life, help, strength. Thank you for being able to get up this morning. Thank you for my right mind. Thank you that my limbs are working. Thank you that... Lord, my heart is pumping blood. Thank you that I'm breathing. Father, I thank you for these things that sometimes we ignore and we forget, but they are pivotal things. And Lord, I thank you today. Oh, God, for my brothers and my sisters, I need them. Oh, God, they are a part of your body. So they are a part of my body. They are your children, so they are my brothers and my sisters, and I thank you for them today. I thank you for them because they've come from all over the world, God, just to pray. And Lord, I know the power that is in that prayer that you said where two or three are gathered. Oh, God, and here we are, many brothers and sisters gathered in prayer this morning. You said that, Lord, if we were gathered in your name, that you would be in our midst. So, Lord, even though we're sitting in our own homes and even though we're watching on our devices, we are together in this prayer room. And because we're together, Lord, you're going to do something phenomenal because we're together. Lord, I believe we're on one accord. I believe we're of the same mind. I believe we're of the same spirit. And God, because we have come together, there's going to be manifestation, oh God, in our midst right now. Lord, I'm praying that whatever each individual needs, whatever they have come seeking, whatever they are believing you for, Lord, that you would simply pour yourself out, oh, in a phenomenal way. I'm believing right now that whatever, oh, oh God, whatever they're crying out, for whatever is even unspoken in their heart and in their mind God that you would make manifested right now that you would give substance to it that you would bring deliverance for it in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying oh God because they're praying for their children their grandchildren they're praying for their loved ones they're praying for their co-workers and their friends they're praying for themselves somebody has a need that's watching somebody needs a job somebody needs deliverance somebody needs my peace in their family. Somebody needs something. Lord, but whatever they need, Lord, I'm believing with them, oh God, for manifestation. Somebody is believing, oh God, for a miracle today, and I'm believing with them, oh God, for that divine manifestation. God, we're lifting up every name that is in the prayer book today. God, we're praying for Matt. We're praying for John. We're praying for Todd. We're praying for Justin today. We're praying for Kathy, for Elwina, for Elisa, for the Harmon family. We're praying for Eddie and Barbara. We're praying for Matt and Jill. God, we're praying today for Deacon and Mother Wilson. We're praying, oh God, for Garland and Pam. We're praying for Nikki and Sherrod. We're praying for Bruce and Jessica today. God, we're praying for Ryan and Trail. God, we're praying for backsliders everywhere. We're praying for Malika. We're praying for Asia. We're praying for Mark, for the Pew family. We're praying for Arlene Curse. We're praying for Jonathan. We're praying for Daniel, for the Hill family, the Shepherd family, for Rajira. We're praying for the Brockett family. We're praying for Dorothy Jacobs. We're praying for Adrian and Michael Jackson. We're praying for Deborah, for Debbie. We're praying for Rodney. We're praying for Zachary, for Michaela, for Mikhail. We're praying for Jeremiah. We're praying for Regina. We're praying for the Greater Prayer Temple family. We're praying for, oh God, Kenneth and Rashad. Kenneth 
Joseph, oh God, and Margaret today and their children. We're praying, oh God, for Rashad. We're praying for Jacada. We're praying for Kelly. We're praying for the Bailey family. We're lifting up Charles Jr. We're praying for Vanessa and family. We're praying for the nation of Trinidad. We're praying for St. Kitts, for St. Lucia, for Jamaica. We're praying for the Dominican Republic. God, we're praying, my God, for the United States. We're praying, oh God, for Israel and India right now. God, we're praying for James. We're praying for Deshaun. We're praying for Jeffrey, God, that you would open the door for him. We're praying for Tamara. We're praying for Brooke today. We're praying for backsliders everywhere. Every person that has drifted in their walk, God, bring them and restore them. We're praying for the homeless. We're praying for caregivers every day. We're praying, oh God, I'm praying for my father, Joseph Davis, today. I'm praying for Risa, for travelers, for single parents, for the Ortez family. I'm praying for Bianca's daughters today. I'm praying for Grace Apostolic Church. I'm praying for the Jacobs family, the Richardson family. I'm praying for Doris Harvey. I'm praying for Janine today. I'm praying for Kayla, for Maxine. We're lifting up Roberta. We're praying for Christy today. We're praying for the Stevenson family, the Halfman family, the Thompson family, the Bedford family, the Vergas family. We're praying for the Oliver family, the Turner family. We're praying for Tanel Bethea and her family. We're praying for Kiba and her family. We're praying for Barbara Graves, her children and her grandchildren. We're lifting up Nikki today, Edna. We're praying for Ray. We're praying for Ray Harrell, Charles Harrell, Jesse Harrell. We're praying for Jeffrey Corey today. We're praying for Shamika. We're lifting up Bishop and Mother Harrell. Father, in every name on the prayer list, every name in the chat, every name that's been sent to me by messenger, God, I'm holding it up to you today. Lord, because we know that you're able to deliver. I'm praying that if there's any bondage, anybody bound by the enemy, that God, you would free them and release them now. Whatever is holding them, whatever is binding them, Lord, some bound by addiction, some bound by promiscuity, some bound, oh, shataye, oh God, by depression, some bound by, oh God, any form of bondage, some bound, oh God, by emotional distress, that Lord, you would destroy the yoke because your word says that the anointing destroys every yoke. So God, destroy it right now. Loose them and let them go free in the name of Jesus. Save, oh God, oh shatana, satana. Save, deliver. Lord, I'm praying for anybody on this line that needs the Holy Ghost today. Lord, that you would baptize and fill them with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Lord, let them repent. Let them have faith. Let them surrender. And Lord, right now while we're praying, my God, baptize them in the Holy Ghost. God, I'm praying for backsliders that you would restore and reclaim. I'm praying for people who have grown cold that you would, oh God, reignite the fire of the Holy Ghost in them. My God, we lift up the sick today. Oh God, the many names that are on the prayer list. My God, oh God, from wherever they are. But Lord, they're sick. They're fighting. Oh God, affliction in their body. We're praying for Catherine today. We're praying for Toy. We're praying for Ava. We're lifting up Marlette today. We're praying for Mother Shirley Clark. We're praying for Lady Andrea Maxwell. We're praying for Mother Evangeline Jenkins. We're praying for Pastor Jackson and Pastor Carr. We're praying, my God, for Brother Wiggins. We're praying, oh God, for brother and mother Sherrod. We're praying for Deacon and mother Garland today. We're lifting up, my God, mother Foster, mother Tanaj, mother Simmons, mother Holman. We're praying for Dwight Wade, Joanne Cousin. We're praying for George Lloyd. We're praying for Duchess today, God. Oh, God, your healing virtue now. We're praying for Bessie. We're praying for Queen Powell. We're praying for Sister Spellman today. We're praying for brother Chris Wright. We're praying for Polly. We're praying for Lakeisha. We're praying for Levi and Sharon and Talisha and Dorothea. We're praying for Valerie, for Joyce, for Samson, for Sesame. We're lifting up Maurice today. Lord, save and heal in the name of Jesus. We're praying for Rodney, for Lisa, for Mary. We're praying for Matthew. We're praying for Sandra, for Cynthia. We're praying, oh God, for Deacon and Mother Grant. Lord, touch Mother Grant's body in the name of Jesus. Give progress and give healing now. We're praying, my God, for Alice, for Arnold, for Athena, for Larry. God, we're lifting up Bianca today, Lord. Oh God, we're praying because there's so many needs, oh God. We're praying for Jackie. We're praying for, oh God, Mother Carter today. Oh God, Deborah Carter. We're praying for Francine, for Sister Wellesley. We're praying, my God, for Lena. We're praying for Mother Garvey, Mother Raya. We're praying for Lacine, for Edna, for Richelle. God, we're lifting up Mary and Kelsey. We're praying for Charles today. We're praying, my God, for Barbara. Lord, we're thanking you for Noah coming through surgery. My God, continue that healing process. We're praying for Pam today. Oh God, there's going to have a knee replacement. My God, touch. We're praying
praying, my God, for Barbara's. Oh, God, we're praying for Maya today. We're praying for Deja, God. We're praying for every name that is sick, every person, my God, in a hospital, in a nursing home, in a rehab center, every person, Lord God, who is in trouble today physically. Oh, God, every person that's suffering emotionally today. God, we're lifting up today, God, because we know that you're a healer. We're praying for Deacon Bernard because we know there's nothing too hard for you, God. We're praying for Eloise and her son. We're praying for Barbara. We're praying for Deacon Johnson today. We're lifting up Elder Grant, Elder Tucker. We're praying for Kayla and George. We're praying for Sister Marie. We're praying, my God, for them now. We're praying for Monica and Francine. We're praying, oh God, for Mother Fears. We're praying for Pastor Dykes. Oh God, touch and deliver, God. Heal to the utmost, God, because we know that you're able. Today, God, we lift up bereaved families, Lord, everywhere. God, people who are grieving in every corner of the globe. We pray for the Payne family, the Oliver Turner family, the Mott family, the Lowe family, the Shackelford family, the family of Kalila Davis. We're praying for the Blackwell, the Howie, oh God, and the Ebron families. We're lifting up Lorenzo. We're praying for the Davis family, the Johnson family. We're praying for Deborah Thompson and her family. We're praying for the Andrews family, the Robinson family, the Hamilton family. We're praying for the Whitehead family, the Holmes family. We're praying for the family of Ethelene Wilson today. We're praying for the Maddox family, God. We're praying for the Banks family and the Staten family. God, we lift up the Morris family today. God, we pray for the Washington Fields family. We pray for the Sneeze and the Purdies and the Taylors. God, we lift up, oh God, the Allen family, the Lloyd family, the McLean Melvin family, the Gary Porter family. We pray for the Clark family, God. Lord, strengthen Tommy, strengthen Michelle, strengthen the entire family, God. We pray for the Zapata family, for the Felix family. Oh God, all of these grieving hearts. We're praying for widows and widowers. We're praying, my God, Hallelujah. For, oh God, for children that lost parents and parents that lost children. God, we're lifting up these many souls because grief can be so heavy. Oh God, we're praying that you would give added strength. We're praying that you would send peace, my God. We're praying, my God, that you would send comfort to them wherever they are. God, I'm praying for the entire body of Christ. Every apostle, prophet, pastor, evangelist, teacher, every missionary and mother, every bishop and elder, every first lady, my God, every Every deacon and minister, every young person, every psalmist, musician and singer, every disciple in the body. Lord, I'm praying, God, that you would make us one in the spirit. God, I repent this morning for anything I've done that created division or caused confusion. God, I'm sorry. Because I know your intention is for the body to be one. God, I'm praying for unity in the body of Christ. I'm praying for oneness in the body of Christ. I'm praying that your spirit fills all of us, that your power envelops every one of us, that we might be one, that we might walk in your legitimate authority, that we might live in your power, that we might defeat and crush the works of Satan, oh God, by being unified. Lord, bring us on one accord so we can have a true outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Unite congregations, unite reformations, unite your entire body because you only have one body. Body, God. Lord, bring us together that you might get the glory out of our lives. God, I'm praying for first responders. Oh, God, and I'm praying for essential workers everywhere. I'm praying for your protection on everybody as we begin to venture back out. Lord, cover us with your precious blood. Lord, keep us right now. It's only been your grace that has kept us. It's only been your mercy that has kept us. Lord, continue to keep us. I'm praying for those that are receiving the vaccine. God, that you would touch and cover them. I'm praying that you would strengthen the hands, oh God, of firemen and policemen. I'm praying, oh God, that you would bring justice, oh God, in what is sometimes an unjust society. I'm praying for India today, my God, that you would bring deliverance in that mega crisis. I'm praying, my God, for Israel, oh God, in the Gaza region. Lord God, oh God, the death toll is rising, but Lord, you're the Prince of Peace. God, I'm praying today, oh God, for throughout this country, Lord, that you would help us, God. So much division, so much, oh God, divisiveness, so much anger and hatred. But God, you're a God of peace today. Let the church set the example. Let the church set the tone, oh God, that passes through the society. Oh God, that you are one God. Lord God, strengthen us today. Help us today, God, to walk in the oneness of unity. Because when we agree, you manifest yourself. God, manifest yourself to us 
and bless and strengthen us today in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Somebody give God praise right now. Somebody give God praise. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Oh God. Hallelujah. Oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, I love you. Hallelujah. Lord, I love you. Hallelujah. Lord, I praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you today. Thank you so much for being with us. Here's our um, the declaration on today. I am a part of God's one. I am a part of God's one. Hallelujah. I'm not off to myself. I'm not on an island alone. I am a part of God's one. Hallelujah. In your marriage, be a part of God's one. Hallelujah. You can't be in a marriage by yourself and you can't be in a marriage in isolation. So, Lord, I want to be a part of God's one. They shall be one flesh. That's the word, right? I'm a part of God's one church. I'm a part of God's one faith. I've received the one baptism. Hallelujah. I'm a part of God's one. Yes, I am a part of God's one. I'm not off in a corner. I'm not separated. I'm part of God's one church. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to do church on myself, do church my way. I want to be a part of the one church. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to do it on my own. I'm trying to be a part of God's one church. That's what I'm trying to do. I want to be a part of God's one. Hallelujah. Not separated, not divided, not off in the shadows, but somewhere a part of God's one. Hallelujah. That's where we all need to be because there's power in that one. There is power in that one. There is deliverance in that one. Prayers are being answered right now because we have prayed together. Yes, you can pray by yourself. Yes, you can pray alone. And sometimes we do pray alone, but something powerful happens when the people of God pray together. And yes, my brother or sister, I am a part of God's one. God bless you today. I pray this word and this prayer has blessed you and that you will have a fruitful and productive day. You can stay connected with Refuge Temple all day today. You can This prayer service will be available on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. You can also access our podcast on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and SoundCloud. All of these mediums are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, anytime. Just upload, look at it. And if it blesses you, if what you hear blesses you, please, my brother, my sister, share it with somebody else so they can be blessed as well. Our radio broadcast airs every day, Monday through Friday on GregoryGospel.com. GregoryGospel.com every day, Monday through Friday at 1130 a.m. And thank you for supporting and praying for the radio broadcast because it's reaching even beyond prison bars. God is allowing it to reach people everywhere, and we want it to continue to touch lives. Look, thank you for your gifts that support this ministry. We appreciate them so very much. We thank God for each of you, and we pray God's blessing upon you for your liberality. If you want to be a blessing, you can send a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can give electronically. You can go to our website, Refuge Temple nc.com and make your gift there. You can give through Givelify. If you have that app on your phone, just simply type in Refuge Temple Church. You'll see a picture of our church and you'll know you're in the right place. Make your gift. Or you can give through our cash app. That is dollar sign, the number one refuge. Dollar sign, the number one refuge. We thank you for every gift. We appreciate every gift and God bless you. But most of all, we appreciate this agreement in prayer, this daily fellowship, all of you who come each morning in prayer. And guess what? If the prayer is blessing you, bring somebody else, invite them to join us in the morning because God is meeting us in the morning. Look, have a wonderful, fantastic day. Keep praying for me, Lady Davis, our children. Pray for our church, Refuge Temple. Pray for the churches that we are assigned to assist in the States and abroad, that God would use us to be a blessing there. And let's just pray one for another because we are one. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. Shalom, shalom.